In this video, we shall demonstrate the use of microcentrifuge. The microcentrifuge is used for separation of serum in a blood sample pre-collected in pre-heparinized capillary tube or a test tube or for urine centrifugation. The sample obtained after capillary centrifugation can be used for packed cell volume determination and total serum bilirubin estimation. While the sample separated from urine or blood in a tube centrifuge can be used for relevant processing where needed. The blood sample can be either capillary or venous blood sample. After collection of sample, one end of capillary is sealed with clay followed by soap. The blood sample capillary is placed in one of the slots as shown in the video. Place another sample or a plain capillary filled with water in the opposite slot. This is to ensure that adequate balance is maintained while the machine is run. The cover disc and the lid is then closed. Turn on the centrifuge and set the speed to 10,000 rotations per minute for a duration of 4-5 to five minutes. At the end of the time, the rotor is allowed to slow down by itself and the capillary can be taken out after the rotor stops. The cover top unlocks itself only after the rotor stops. Take the capillary out, close the lid and the cover top. Capillaries are non-graduated. PCV is read using a microhematocrit reader. The tube centrifuge also works in a similar manner except that it uses tubes instead of capillaries. Balance the tubes in the rotor. If you want to run a tube with 10 ml of liquid, put another tube with 10 ml of water in the opposing hole on the rotor. If the liquid has a higher or lower density than water, then you must balance the tubes by mass and not volume. Now coming to some important points. The work surface must be level and firm. Do not use the centrifuge on an uneven or slanted work surface. Do not keep any object on top of the centrifuge. No external force should be applied to stop the rotor. For every capillary placed, another tube should be placed in the opposite slot for balancing. Proper lubrication should be done and the motor brush be inspected once every 3-4 to four months. The instrument should be placed at least 30 cm from the wall for proper heat dissipation. A small amount of plasma may remain trapped in the erythrocyte portion even when the specimen is properly centrifuged. This trapped plasma may result in a falsely elevated hematocrit. Increased amount of trapped plasma are associated with hypochromasia, macrocytosis, spherocytosis, thalassemia, sickle cell anemia, and polycythemia. As a result of trapped plasma, the spun microhematocrits are 1 to 3% higher than hematocrits calculated by electronic counters. Thank you.